and the Boston Celtics just got better. Trading for Malcolm Brogdon, for Aaron Neesmith, uh, Tice, and a first-round pick next year. Ishan, how big of a dub is this out of out of a 10? An 11? Like, this was so, so huge for Boston. And this is my favorite move all offseason. What do they need? They need a playmaking point guard that's not going to demand too much, that's going to let Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum do their thing, but still go out and get a bucket. That's what you have in Malcolm Brockton. You had a guy who last year on Indiana had 19, averaged 19.1 points per game on a very, very, very efficient shooting splits of around 49% or 45% for the field and 86% from the line too. This has been a guy that was that went 50, 40, 90 a few years ago. Also, he brings six assists per game. His career high has been seven. This is a guy that can get you a bucket and also, more importantly, make plays for others. And that assist number, I think, will go nine plus with the amount of offensive talent that Boston has. Because six six assists in Indiana is pretty amazing. <laughs> You're telling me. I mean, Brian has been one of the guys that I, I I've loved for years. And whenever I talk about potential uh, championship looking championship caliber team trying to bolster their roster, I'm like go get Brogdon because he is exactly. one of he's a perfect point guard. He is a guy that is selfless. He is a, a, a good defender. He's a great playmaker. He's just an all around well rounded player. And when you're a team like Boston, when you have your I think Boston's roster construction is like flawless. I'm in love with it because their talent a lot of their talent resides in the wings with Smart, Brown, Tatum. That's where they're getting a lot of their scoring output from. They have a defensive anchor that is very versatile in Robert Williams. And now you have a point guard that doesn't really have a glaring hole. I think that is so crucial. If you look at the Toronto Raptors teams from a few years ago, the ones that won the championships, and even the ones now with Fred Van Vliet, what's the thing in common? Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Vliet don't really have a glaring hole in their game. They can do everything, and they can do everything really well, too. And I think Malcolm Brogdon is going to fit in right there, and they have definitely kind of given, they've definitely kept their status as the favorites to win the East next year. Yeah, I'll back it up. Look, look what Derek White did. Derek White came in this season, uh, was a point guard, and, and, and played a really important role, like revitalized his career from San Antonio a little bit. Um, came in was mm-hmm. a playmaker because that's what they needed because you know they play Marcus Barr at the point guard he, he developed his playmaking abilities but you know he's not an out and out point guard I mean he's always been a, a wing player um, they brought him in and he was a great breath of fresh air and really brought a lot to this offense and what 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 is Brogdon Brogdon is is just Derek White on crack and that's just what it yeah. is yeah really well rounded a combo guard too can play both the one and the two just like Micah Smart. And he also might have the coolest set of nicknames that I've ever seen. I'm looking on basketball reference right now. They have the little nicknames below the name. Humble Moses, the president, <laughs> Uncle Malcolm, and Mookie Do. That combined with Taco J is quite impressive. So and let's, let's look, what look they out for to, Boston. Look what they gave up for. A first round, a first round pick, which is going to be in the 20s next year. Aaron Neesmith, who is a player who we love out of college for his shooting ability, but does has done nothing in the NBA so far. And Daniel, Daniel Tice. Tice, who is Daniel Tice. Need I say less? He's solid. He's, just, yeah, he's but... Daniel Tice. That's who he is. No disrespect, Daniel Tice. We love you. but So, the rich got richer. Indiana has definitely embraced the rebuild. Thank God. They've been stuck in no man's land for years. And I actually think... Boston fleece them in terms of, you know, value, the value that they got. But at the same time, Indiana is doing the right thing by relinquishing their assets, getting some young talent back, getting a pick, and letting Tyrese Halliburton and Benedict Matherin run the show next year. And just think about that. This trade is pretty much one-fifth of a Rudy Gobert. That is pretty atrocious. <laughs> I would take Malcolm Brogdon on my team over Rudy Gobert if I'm trying to push for Dude, a Imagine a team of five Rudy, of, of five Malcolm Brogdon's. It'd be a sick team. And he's, only, and, and he's only on a $22 million contract. Not that bad. You know. It's 10 out of 10 dub. All right. Yep. See you next time.